A potential law that would have required 25% of all electricity sold in Wisconsin come from renewable sources by 2025 failed last spring. But that isn't stopping the Public Service Commission from getting more money out of Wisconsin power companies for renewable energy. This time, instead of trying to change the law, the PSC simply went to the Joint Finance Committee. Right now in Wisconsin, investor-owned power companies have to give 1.2% of their revenue to the Public Service Commission for energy efficiency programs. On Tuesday, however, the PSC asked the Joint Finance Committee to collect almost three times that amount, 3.2% .2 in 2014. That had Representative Phil Montgomery up in arms. In the past, they would come to us for a dollar certain, and now what is being asked is that they are setting a goal for an energy efficiency number, a, a, a percentage, and they are now setting the spending, not on a dollar amount, but on how much they believe will be needed to be spent to achieve that goal. Is that correct? What they've asked for, they didn't ask to set specific higher contribution rates in, ter in percentage terms, but they've asked for specific dollar amounts, and those are shown in Table 2. Right now at the 1.2%, the program's about $100 million a year. The request before the committee is to increase that to $120 million, $160 million, $204 million in 2013, and then $256 million. Um, in order to do that, they've also estimated what the percent contribution would have to be, and that's in the, se in the next column on Table 2. It's instead of 1.2%, it would go to 1, 5, 1, 9, 2, 5, and 3, 2. And again, the PSC is going to say, we want to hit an energy efficiency goal of X amount, no matter the cost, no matter how much we have to spend to achieve that goal, we are now going to spend that. When we look at what is before us right now, it is a $740 million rate increase on Wisconsin taxpayers over the course of the next four years. $740 million. That's almost bigger than all the tax increases you enacted over the course of the past two years. This is huge, and the impact on Wisconsin will be dramatic, unfortunately. There was an article from the Journal Sentinel just dated uh, November 13th of this year talking about how Wisconsin has higher electricity costs than all but five surrounding sta than all but five states in the country since 2000. We have seen dramatic cost increases in electricity. Now, one of the things that I am most concerned about is our ability to retain and attract new manufacturing, new good family supporting jobs coming to Wisconsin. And when we look and impose a $740 million rate increase, on homeowners on one of the coldest days probably so far this year, and a $740 million rate increase on job creators who are already here and those who are hoping to come. It seems to me that you are sending the exact wrong signal as to where we want Wisconsin to go. But then again, maybe that's why the elections turned out as they did. The committee gave the PSC the green light in an 11-4 vote. All Democrats voting for it, all Republicans voting against it. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.